What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Next Life Garage. Today we're back with the Nissan. I know last time we signed off of the Nissan I told you we'd be looking at uh, some of the stuff in the FIC uh, fuel ignition controller that we're using to manage things with the turbo added to it. But I left out one big step, quite large step. Before we tore it down to rebuild it, I uh, did a lot of monkeying around on things in there. The idle air control valve, uh, throttle position sensor and uh, throttle stop switch uh, trying to tune out you know the bad cylinder I just didn't want to believe it was hurt as bad as it was at the time we couldn't get it worked out so uh, what I'm going to be doing today is setting back base timing uh, we're going to reset the throttle plate stop and we're going to reset the throttle position sensor and we're going to be setting our idle control valve back to where it should be around the 750 RPM range as the uh, service manual calls for. But it's all got to be done at uh, operating temperature. So we're going to take it out, run it around the block a little bit, probably not make any boost, but just kind of drive around, get the engine temperature up, and then we'll come back to the house and uh, dive into the electronics. I'll get you guys out of the sky and show you what I'm going to be messing with under the engine bay, though, uh, so that when we get back and I set you up, you just, you know what I'm looking at as I'm walking around doing things. What we're going to be working on once we get the engine warmed up to set timing, things like that back up on this thing, uh, the throttle position sensor and uh, throttle plate stop are all one unit. They're right here on the side of the throttle body, these two connectors right here. Uh, those would need to be disconnected in order to set base timing once the engine's warm, but those actually have to be set back themselves with the engine off and the ignition switch on. You're looking for voltages using a multimeter in there. The uh, idle air control valve you guys may not be able to see. Uh, you can, it's not focusing real well, but it's back in here. And there's a little Phillips head screw on the side of it that you turn in and out to adjust your idle speed. So I'll be working on that back there. And uh, once you get idle speed set, we'll come around here and uh, put the timing light on it basically you just clip to number one cylinder and every time cylinder one fires it shines a little light down at the pointer down here on the side of the engine and that little pointer my fingers on not really focusing with that uh, line in the way there but that's the pointer and uh, we need to be set at 20 degrees before top dead center so I'm gonna hop in the car take it for a little ride warm it up a little bit and we'll come back and uh, start messing around with this stuff see if we can't get it dialed back in back from the warm-up ride didn't take long 90 degrees today so you know she heats up pretty quick on hot days hopefully you guys enjoyed the clips from riding around a little bit didn't really make any boost maybe two or three pounds don't really want to push it too hard until we get things worked out and uh, everything gets seated in but I'm gonna disconnect the throttle position sensor and the stop switch and then we're gonna fire the car up get to setting the idle back to 750 where it's supposed to be and once the idle set back, we'll work on getting the uh, base timing set back to 20 degrees before top dead center, where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get on that. You guys can check it out.
She doesn't seem to like it when I plug back up the uh, throttle position sensor. That's the problem we've been fighting. But we'll see if we can't figure that out. Idle set back to 750 as you see. Base timing set back to 20 degrees before top dead center. So that stuff's right. This is kind of the issue we've been chasing before the uh, engine failure. But uh, apparently we haven't gotten that satisfied. I have checked all the voltages on everything before we took the engine apart. And everything was in order there but apparently there's still not something right. But I'm going to pull it inside to do the uh, stop switch and the throttle position sensor reset. That may clean up some of that stuff because those sensors, you know, if it thinks the throttle's opened or too far closed, it's going to do that chase and idle. But you saw it was running perfectly smooth, you know, with those sensors disconnected. So there's probably something in the setting of that sensor. Like I said, I'm going to go inside and do it. I don't need to have the car running to do that, but it does need to be at temperature, which it is right now. So I'm going to get to that and fill you back in a little later. I've been piddling around with the throttle position sensor. Got everything set back up according to the factory service manual. There is a manual stop for the throttle plate on the right side of the throttle body on these things. And when you're checking that stuff, basically you want continuity on the stop switch at 10 thousandths of an inch and you do not want continuity on the stop switch at 16 thousandths of an inch gap. We've got all that set back up like it should be. Unfortunately it's uh, idling a little high, about a thousand RPM instead of 750 like it's supposed to, but it is idling smooth so that's a good thing. Uh, maybe after a few miles and a few uh, regeneration cycles on the computer it'll work itself out and settle itself back down. If not we may end up having to replace the uh, throttle position sensor. That being the case, you know, we'll have to source an aftermarket part. I've already done some looking and there are no Nissan original parts available anymore for that. So hopefully it'll work itself out and we don't have to mess with that. But next time we're with the Nissan, we'll get to that uh, FIC and resetting the uh, RPM on it. So we make sure we got fuel in the upper RPM range, doesn't cut out on us. And if you like what we're doing here at Next Life Garage, give us a like, hit the subscribe bell, check out our other videos on the uh, Jeep and the High Point Rodeo, the old Buick there, Ant Buck. And uh, till next time, don't take no wooden nickels and be good. Somebody's got to.